How's it going, everyone? It's Avi from Mother Swan Drop Thousand, and in this video, of course, we're going to talk more about this next Christmas Blizzard, which is pretty much guaranteed to happen at this point and impact large areas of the Midwest and Northeast, where some areas could potentially receive historic snowfall out of this Christmas Blizzard. As we're going to take a look if there will be any so more changes regarding the trajectory of this storm and see if this storm also has a chance of dumping snow further eastward along the Interstate 95 corridor cities such as new york city boston as i'll go more into detail with that in this video before i begin make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather economy so let's begin let's take a look at the gfs model and now we're starting to see the certainty um rise in this storm when it comes to this trajectory so over the past several videos we've been talking about the possibility of this storm potentially changing its trajectory over the next several days but now it seems like the computer models are honing in on bringing the heaviest snowfall to the midwest where we do see the interior midwest in the latest gfs model run let me move on to the 18 z run we see that the gfs model wants to develop of course a significant christmas blizzard as a result of how much instability exists right around the mid section of the country where we see a strong southerly flow that's interacting with this very cool air mass that's just to the west of the so precious system, and that's going to create a high amount of lift in the atmosphere for a high amount of convection to occur at and as a result, we're going to see a large area of snow impact the Midwest and eventually the Northeast in the future, where we see the backside of this snow also impact portions of the Northeast. Um, and we see very heavy snowfall right around the Midwest, where the Chicago area could get involved with one of the worst snowstorms you experienced this year. And it could be historic in some areas of the Midwest. Now, there's certainly, of course, still uncertainties regarding the track of this old pressure system. However, it isn't as high as... Um, um as of today um so for the people hoping for snow right up along the northeast coast i'd find it um, I find it a lot less likely at this point we're going to see a trajectory change that will bring heavy snowfall along the Interstate 95 corridor cities as it seems like the ridge that's going to be just for the um, east of this storm is going to be a little bit too strong for the cool air to be able to wrap around the northeast and allow for the possibility of snowfall as it seems like this pressure gradient between this ridge that's going to be centered towards the northeast and this low pressure system will be a little bit too strong as the low pressure system approaches the midwest which will create a strong southerly flow to force a lot of that warm air up further north However, for the Midwest, we're likely going to see just very heavy snowfall right around Indiana, um, right around Chicago as well, where we're going to see those very heavy snow bands develop as a result of this pressure gradient between this very warm air mass that's trying to wrap around the northern portion of the snow pressure system, as well as this Arctic Ridge that's bringing that cooler air for south or creating a high amount of lift. So we're likely going to see very heavy snowfall and blizzard conditions because look at that millibar pressure down to 979 millibar which is equivalent to the strength of some hurricanes which is which shows how powerful this system will be and how strong the winds associated with this low pressure system will be which will lead to blizzard conditions along with that heavy snowfall and very cold temperatures we're going to see on the back side of this low pressure system so the midwest needs to prepare for potentially a historic blizzard especially around the chicago area where you could experience over a foot of snow and potentially two feet of snow in some localized areas in the midwest so make sure to definitely keep keep that in mind and we do see a strong northerly flow right around the um, northern midwest where we're gonna see cold air as well behind this storm and this snow we could see lake effect snow as well and the interior northeast could get impacted by snow before eventually changing over the rain if we were to take a look at the snowfall forecast from the gfs model we do see that if i were to continue to move forward with the forecast we also could see snow first southward into missouri and kansas and the south portions of the southeast like tennessee arkansas oklahoma could still get involved and of course we see still see heavy snowfall right around the interior portions of pennsylvania and upstate new york associated with this storm so that's certainly, certainly um something to keep in mind and this is going to affect millions of people and now it seems like the gfs model is moving more in line with the european model where we're seeing the snow the heaviest snowfall in nearly the exact same areas there are some differences the european model still wants to take the heavier snowfall for northward and while the southern portions still do experience snow it isn't to the magnitude 
as a GFS model is forecasting, but based on the fact that the European model has been correct thus far over the past several runs regarding the forecast of this Christmas blizzard, this could be the model that would be more um, that could be more accurate because this could be one of those scenarios where the GFS model is pretty much playing catch up to what the European model um, is stating as of right now. So we could see the GFS model shift continuously more to be more in line with the European model. Um, and of course, in terms of the snow moving into the East Coast, there a possibility always exists, but it's definitely becoming less likely, especially the more and more we move on to the future, where it seems like the computer models are now honing in that the heaviest snowfall will be for westward so this might not be your shot at a white christmas along the interstate 95 corridor but we certainly need to pay close attention to possibilities beyond this storm as well but the point is is that the midwest should experience an extreme blizzard where the heaviest snow will be has yet to be seen the um, gfs mall wants to bring the of course the heaviest snow for southward where missouri kansas um experiences 6 to 12 inches of snow and then um it'll Illinois, Indiana, Ohio um, experiences six to twelve, um, six to twelve to twelve to eighteen inches, and we even see some areas in the GFS model scenario um, sit, um, wanting to um, accumulate up to twenty-four inches of snow or more, which is quite significant. Where we see that um, between the border of Indiana and Michigan, we see um, tw um, twenty-four to thirty-six inches of snow, which is just incredible and definitely would break records if the GFS model was correct. We're gonna need to wait and see how far south this jet stream dips to really determine if we're going to see a gfs model scenario become the more correct model or the european model because the thing is that the gfs model doesn't expect a jet stream dip as significant so this storm this old pressure system sags down a little bit more southward before eventually turning up northward while the, the, the european model expects a jet stream dip that's much more significant and we see the low pressure system move northward a lot quicker to bring that heavy snowfall further north northward um a lot quicker which would um bring a little bit less snow for southward into missouri and kansas so that's only something, something we're gonna need to keep in mind how significant that jet stream dip will be depending on the position of this ridge i will play a big role because if this ridge has a little bit less of a pressure gradient we would see um a, um le um weaker southerly winds which would that would force the storm for a northward quicker but if we were to see um weaker westerly winds then we're more likely to see a gfs model scenario take place and that could lead to record-breaking snowfall throughout indiana um illinois and ohio but at this point it's very likely that the midwest and the ohio river valley will significant will experience a significant snowstorm this will impact millions of people like chicago missouri so you need to prepare for that possibility and even portions of the interior northeast could get involved with some heavy snowfall so make sure to pay very close attention to this over the next several days because it's likely to impact you guys as we approach the christmas time frame for the midwest so definitely pay very very close attention to that as it seems like it is going to be a very significant storm um and potentially historic for a large portion of the Midwest. Again, let me show you guys the surface um, forecast for this storm. We do see that this slow pressure system will dig in. Depending on how strong southerly winds will be, will determine when this storm the uh, um this storm turns northward. So we could maybe see this um the snow move a little bit further eastward, but I don't think it's gonna move eastward enough to bring any sort of noticeable snowfall to the Interstate 95 corridor cities at this point. But it will determine where the heaviest snow will be. So it um since the heaviest snow is um in the gfs mall scenario is okay right between indiana and michigan we could maybe see that shift into ohio or illinois depending on how strong this jet stream dip is and how strong the southerly winds will be to really determine where the heaviest snow will be so make sure to definitely keep that in mind to really determine where the heaviest snow will be associated with this storm now taking a look at the north atlantic oscillation index we do see that we're still in the negative phase so we're likely to see cooler and snowier than average conditions as we approach late December and early January time frame. So even if you don't necessarily experience snow with this snowstorm, there of course could be that possibility of another snowstorm impacting your area. And it's the reason, and this negative North Atlantic oscillation is likely the reason why we are seeing such a significant jet stream dip um, as the storm heads further southward um, and um, and we're, why we're seeing such a significant Christmas blizzard in the Midwest. So that's only something to keep in mind now take a look at my snowfall accumulation forecast some very low differences compared to yesterday's forecast it seems like this forecast will stay 
um, mostly the same, I'd say, um, where we could see 12 to 24 inches in the interior northeast and portions of the Midwest. I would potentially bring the 12 to 24 inch mark a little bit for a westward at this point, as well as 6 to 12 inch mark. And we could see potentially 6 to 12 inches of snow, especially if the GFS model scenario is correct. Um, and we could see 3 to 6 inches right around Chicago. And I think it could be even more um, based on the latest updates from the computer models. So make sure to prepare for this extreme Christmas blizzard that is as it will likely bring significant impacts throughout the large portion of the Midwest and the Northeast. But anyways, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content. And I hope you guys all have a great day.